Hello everyone. Well, over the weekend, I went down to Florida and did a photo shoot for one of my clients. So I thought it would be interesting and hopefully relaxing for you guys to kind of take you through the first step that I do when curating the photos that I've taken. And what I'm going to do is just go through and quickly pick out the best photos and, or more to the point, go through and get rid of the bad photos, leaving the possibly usable photos. And then I'll go through what's left with another process and weed out even more. But for right now, I'm just going to go through and quickly look and see what I've done. This client is a fun park in Florida. They have go-karts and miniature golf and all different types of stuff. And they have a huge arcade as well. So that's what these first photos are, is of the arcade. Now these photos, I was basically just getting my lighting correct and making sure that I wasn't going to have to make any major adjustments to my camera, which I wasn't. So this is one shot from the corner of the building over to the other corner way back here. So what I'll do is I'll right click and I will get I can give it a star rating or no rating or I can give it a reject. And so what I'm probably going to do is just go through these and any of the ones that are obviously bad I'm going to put a reject on for now. So this one's okay. It's a basic overview. This is a little zoomed out from the other photo. Let's see. These are pretty much the same. All of these are here. That one's a little skewed going downhill, so I'm going to recheck that one. These are enough the same that I'll pick one of those and eventually maybe use that. This looks really blurry here. I don't think that's a good photo. Okay, so now we've got our settings right in our camera. This is a neat shot of these lights. I'm not quite sure what get that game was, but and then here I'm shooting this row of driving games. And I decided it'd be better if I was on the other side. So I sit down in one of the games and I'm shooting down this row here. Adjusting my exposure a little bit. It's also changed from the graphics that are on the screen. Throws more light here on these seats as well. And this one's really blurry. So let's see. This has these blurry figures in it, kind of awkwardly posed. This has a nice clear graphic of the name of the game, so that's good. So these are all pretty much identical. And let's see, so here's a shot of this game. And these are really interesting. I think they're big rotating. I'm not quite sure what the graphics were on this, but something to do with fishing, apparently. And I think that was a neat way of incorporating the fish head into the... I think it's puking a rainbow. Okay, that's pretty nice. Has some action going on in the screen there. Let's 
I think it's like another driving game. And these are a claw pick up the toy game. Those are pretty nice. Zoomed in on the toy a little bit. And this isn't really anything. It's not really showing anything in the center as a point of focus. So both of those are gone. I don't like that. Same thing with this. I think I was trying to get somebody walking down here, but it never happened. So and these are good photos here. And this is a little overexposed. It's kind of hard to see what's going on there. And this is better. You got some nice detail there. And I don't think that's a very flattering photo, so I'm going to reject that. These are the prizes that you can win, like the tickets. I was trying to crop around that lady. There we go. This is where you check in and you can see the light from outside. I think that's a pretty neat photo. I don't know that I'd use it for marketing, but maybe. It's more of a just showing how all the prizes that you can win. And here's the ticket prices and the restrictions for the height and all that kind of stuff for all the different rides. More shots of the prizes you can win. And some of these are a little dark, but that's fine. I can adjust that when I open it up in Photoshop. And these are pretty dark. Let's go through those really quickly. I like the way these looked with the light behind them shining through. I think there's some neat stuff I could do with that. So I took several different exposure levels so I can possibly combine them together into a um, better exposed photo. So this is the name of the place I was at, Andretti Throw Park. I've done a lot of their marketing for a long time. Some more shots of arcades along the wall. I thought that this was neat, but it never really did anything. It didn't flash. And then here's some more claw type games. This one is a huge one over here on the other side. You can pick. Um, pick up plush toys that are as big as a small child. Here I'm experimenting with some different exposure settings. Yeah, that one's a mess. That one's not bad. It shows some people at the games. And this is an internal thing for food. Let's quickly go through that. And here is the outside of the restaurant. And then here's the front of the whole building. This is the main entrance. So that was a neat shot with the fence a little blurry in the foreground. Took a picture of the sign. I don't know why this is. I think the camera didn't quite realize I rotated it. This is a rock climbing wall they have. I'm standing up on a balcony shooting down. It's a nice perspective to get. Here's some cars they have advertising the local 
car dealership and they put this pace car type graphics on one of them with the logo. These are the small kid go-karts for the kids. I guess the age is probably 5 to 7 or 10. I'm not sure. It usually goes by height. So now I'm on the ground shooting up at the rock wall. Most of these look pretty good. And there's a button that you hit when you get to the top and it makes a little siren sound. That's pretty cool. Here's the car with the rock wall in the background. And then I got out onto the tracks. And this is the high speed um, go-karts that you can ride without a license. There's another track that they have that you need to have a driver's license for. It goes really fast, but that wasn't working or wasn't running this day I was here. So here's just some kids going around the track. I was standing pretty much right beside it, trying to get their expressions. It was tough to read the lighting of the track and also the lighting for the face. But I think I can lighten those up and pull out the faces. So here I am trying to adjust for that and brighten. For here, then you lose a little bit of the track, but I think that's probably better. I'm going through these pretty quick because I have like over a thousand of these to go through. I don't want it to take too long. So I'm just, anything that's an obvious error, I'm going to flag. Like this one, there's no subject here. And this is much better because you have two in the background and the one in the front. Gives you a nice sense of depth. This is good one going this way, one going that way, so you have some nice directional differences. Yeah, it zoomed in a little bit. That one's blurry. That one's blurry too. Oops. And that one's not in the frame. Same with that one. Same with that one. Okay. And he's got a nice happy expression on his face. Some of these kids look really bored <laughs> going around the track. Some of them have scowls of concentration. And this guy's face is really screwed up. So we obviously can't use those. This is a nice staggering of the carts. Waving a little bit there. Nothing blurry. It's a good one there. That's nice. It's a little unbalanced here. There's too much going on on this side. Oops. Hit the wrong mouse button. I did it again. There we go, that's what I want. And that one's blurry. It's really hard. I had a very small eyepiece I was looking through. The one I unpacked in the other video. And for the most part, it worked pretty well. But it was still kind of difficult to get the focusing right. I'm glad I had it because I would not have been able to see the screen on the back of my camera in the sun. So 
So I was pretty much just taking photos as fast as I could to get as many in because you never know when you're going to catch a good expression or a good grouping of the cars. And that's a nice grouping there. And then they come out with a flag and they stop and tell everybody to pull in. Here's everybody coming in. And then here's a shot of the batting cages. I'll get more of those later. So this is the next group coming through. And that's a good shot. Nice happy smiles there. Not much going on in that photo. Nice grouping. Some of these I know aren't in focus, so I'm definitely have to go through and zoom in on them and make sure they're usable from a focus standpoint. And I hope I'm not flipping through these too quickly, but I want to make sure that I get all of them in. So many of them are nearly identical to each other, so I'm just shooting away as fast as I can. So this shot shows the track coming around this way, and it takes an S-curve up like this. So you kind of see three different areas of the track. I'm trying to get some cards down here, here, as well as here. So this is a good, good shot. Not much going on in that one. is good. It's a nice foreground of supporting carts in the back. Again, not much going on in that one. Or that one. That's good. Something out here on the track. I have to edit that out in Photoshop. If I use any of these. Nothing. Not much. I'm trying to get some of the batting cages. This is the high speed track back here. Nothing there. It's almost like watching a movie if you do it fast enough. <laughs> and that one's blurry. And that one is nothing. Okay, now I'm at another part of the track. And I walk across and I'm shooting from this angle. I don't know if this is a good angle. They look kind of distorted out here to the edge of the lens. This is good. I may crop in on that. Down here in the corner it doesn't really do me much good.
just going through and seeing if there's any obvious ones that I can't use. like that one. I'm not sure what was going on with that. Oh, I was just trying to get some blurry. I had slowed the shutter speed down so that they would blur out. But it's not working very well. It's almost too blurry. Can't even tell if they're go-karts. Don't you never know until you try. Okay, here's a few more. Not much going on here. Okay, so now I'm back up on the balcony. And these are paddle boats in the water. There's nothing going on there. Okay, there we go. Here we have people using the paddle boats. Those are good. And then this is another track that they have. This is like their medium speed track. And they have tandem carts. So two people can ride in one cart. Nothing going on there. And again, I can brighten these photos in Photoshop. It's a nice grouping. Okay, so now we're back to the sign. A little bit different shot with this bush here and these trees. And now we are taking pictures of the batting cage. It's kind of a shot from the back. Not a very good shot there. A lot of the wire mesh gets in the way. So I zoomed in and kind of put the lens really close to the chain link to eliminate it. This is the mechanism that throws the balls. And that's not of particularly anything. It's all chain link fence. So I move around and look at this angle. Let's go through these real quickly. I doubt I'll use any of these. It's very hard to see the people in the batting cage that way. So this way, I only have one thing of fence I'm shooting through at the very beginning, and I can see more of the batters. I think this is a much better shot. So I take a lot of these. Okay. So this is the Little Kitty ride. It's kind of like the teacup ride in Disney. And it spins around and they can spin around the little slime buckets. And then this is a little kind of Ferris wheel type thing. This, these rides are for the very small, like under, under five. 
you back to the rock wall. This is a fairly new attraction for them, so I took a lot of photos of it. And I'm doing a different angle of the paddle boats. I did a vertical so I can get more of the blue water in the shot. And then I get a different angle on the carts kind of standing above them and shooting down. It's a nice long line. Good action sequence there. Pretty much just the same thing over and over again. Like I said, I'll examine those much more closely later on. I'll only use a handful of those. But it's nothing that's obviously wrong. So this is the miniature golf course. And I think I'm going to leave it there and possibly make a second video with the other half of the photos because I'm about halfway done. So thank you for watching and if you enjoyed this let me know if this was relaxing to you and I will work my way through the second half of the photos. Please subscribe to my channel. I have many more videos to make for you. And If you have any ideas for a video you'd like to see me do, please let me know in the comments. Thanks, guys. Bye.